So there's, there's not a whole lot to talk about with this deal, but it went down just as I was on the road to work. So I'll try to upload this from, from work. Um, so the Penguins get Riley Sheehan and a fifth rounder this year for Scott Wilson and a third rounder this year from, uh, from the Penguins. And Sheehan's a decent player. He needs a change of scenery. Agreed. I, think, I thought he needed it all year last year. And, and then when they missed the playoffs, I was really surprised that they did trade him in the, during the summer. Uh, I guess this means that Greg McKegg uh, experiment at center is over for him, for the Penguins. Uh, it's too bad because I, he hasn't been bad in any of the games I've seen. He hasn't cost them anything. But, you know, all we've heard about for weeks now is Pittsburgh needs a third line center, Pittsburgh needs a third line center, Pittsburgh over and over and over again. And Sheehan had been mentioned on various sites as this is the obvious answer. So I, I'm not sure why it took this long to make the deal. I don't know if Holland was holding out to keep on, keep hold, keep hold of Sheehan if he thought he could get more for him, or the Penguins wanted to just give him a keg a, a decent amount of time but it means the Penguins get stronger. Uh, the Penguins get stronger for the rest of this season. That's bad news for the rest of the NHL. Uh, I haven't heard. I, I doubt he's going to play tonight for Pittsburgh. He's not going to be there that fast. So Sheehan won't be in the lineup until their next game. But, uh, you know, this is this is uh, how you repeat as Stanley Cup champions for a third straight time. All Pittsburgh has done is make smart moves and more and more and more of them as the months have gone on, years have gone on. And full credit to Jim Rutherford for, for fixing this issue and the team still having a very solid record while apparently not having a third line center. So we'll see if Pittsburgh maybe tries to flip a keg somewhere for something or if they just wave him and try to get him through waivers or what they do. But Sheehan clearly will be the, the third line center Although I guess McKay could drop to fourth because I think Wilson was playing fourth line center with Pittsburgh. If so, that would be good because I'm always happy to see a, a farmhand like that get a shot at making it with the with the big team, as would be the case with McKay. So yeah, no, they don't have to get rid of Shannon because Wilson's Wilson's gone back to Detroit. Brain fart on my on my behalf, unless there's something else that I'm not aware of that goes on with, with Pittsburgh and Detroit which is entirely possible. And I, I do my best, and I, I want to do this disclaimer here, I do my best to keep up, keep up on what's going on with all 31 teams, but in my defense, that's a 630, 650, 700, depending on injuries, it's about 700 players I'm trying to keep track of. So I do my best, I do my best to keep track of everything that's going on with everybody, which is why I will upload this when I get to work, and that's during the, the women's show in Abbotsford, which is the firemen. Anyways, it's uh, it's crazy. And today is going to be the craziest of the crazy days. So uh, during the craziness of work, I will still use the Wi-Fi at work to upload this for you fine people. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the trade. To me, it's a no-brainer. It makes total sense. And it should have been done in September. Why did it take until now is the only question I'm asking. Was Rutherford the issue? Was Holland the issue? Or was this just a matter of Holland going, hey, why haven't I called Jim Rutherford? Rutherford like, why Why didn't you call me sooner? I know, why didn't I call you sooner? And now there's an old guy walking down the middle of the street and moved with an as well. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and, yeah, see? Abbotsford, I tell you. That's, that's crazy. All right. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of vehicles. This is going to be a big show. This is a, a lot of people. And uh, I was supposed to give a shout-out to Sasquatch Resort in Hemlock. I hope I'm getting that right. Because uh, the fine ladies at that booth gave me two free chocolate bars last night. So they deserve a shout-out for that. And there are a couple other shout-outs that are, are, are worthy and, and owing. So... For anybody who's wondering where their shout-out's been, it is coming. I promise. I'm just waiting for the right video and the right time. And I'm going to be doing a giveaway 
of the Steven Stamkos figure probably tomorrow. I'm going to aim for tomorrow. All right, I'm at work. I'm done. Talk to you guys again soon. Hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. And talk to you tonight after the games.